My name is Paul Gabriel. I'm the chairman of emergency medicine at Grant Medical Center, level one trauma center here in downtown Columbus. And this has become an annual event for me, and it's become an annual event uh, for the Moore family. So at this time, we'd like to celebrate the life and legacy of an EMS professional whose commitment to patients and to his fellow EMS community members has made a lasting impact. I mean that sincerely. For 25 years, John Moore was a part-time flight paramedic and instructor at the Grant Medical Center. He was also a firefighter, a paramedic, and instructor within the Columbus Division of Fire. John was dedicated, or John dedicated his professional life to the continued success of Grant's trauma and EMS programs. I'm sad to say that we lost John when he passed away back in 2010. However, today we celebrate his legacy as a gifted educator and a paramedic each year with this award, the John P. Moore Memorial EMS Award for Excellence. The award is given annually to an EMS professional whose work over the course of their career has improved the lives of others by creating a positive and long-lasting impact in EMS profession. Nominees must have demonstrated impact that's representative of his or her actions as an EMS advocate, educator, mentor, provider, teacher, or leader. This award presentation is an opportunity to honor two outstanding members of the EMS community. John Moore and the recipient who demonstrates the values that John stood for. I would like to invite Sue Moore, John's wife, to assist in this award presentation. And the rest of the Moore family as well. Please join me in thanking Sue and the family for being here today. Sue. Thank you very much and good morning. First and foremost, on behalf of John's family, I'd like to congratulate Holly um, for receiving the Columbus CEO Life Achievement Award. John would be very proud, <laughs> and he enjoyed working with you. I have here our daughter, Jamie, and our youngest granddaughter, Sydney Grace. <laughs> our, older grand our older grandchild had to go to school, otherwise she they love coming up here, and they think they're rock stars. But she, unfortunately, <laughs> had to go to school this morning. It has been nine years since we lost John, but thanks to Ohio Health, his legacy remains alive. Many of you may not have had the opportunity to work with him, but he had very high standards regarding the care provided by first responders, whether it's in a trauma situation or even at home. We salute the 2019 recipient of the John P. Moore Memorial EMS Award and want all of you to continue the great work you do. Thank you. The nomination entry for this year's award recipient was sent in by his son, and at this time, I would like to share it with you. If anyone embodies the commitment, dedication, and professionalism to the betterment of EMS in Ohio that the John Moore Award represents, it would be my father. He became interested in EMS in the early 1970s with the establishment of Southeast Ohio EMS in his hometown of Gallipolis. Although he was just a teenager, the TV show Emergency captured his aspiration to be a paramedic. When he was 16 years old, he began dispatching for the Gallia County Volunteer EMS Squad. Riding along on calls, he further fell in the spell of helping people in their time of need. It was his calling. In 1978, after high school, he attended Hocking College 
and received his EMT and paramedic certifications. The knowledge he gained in college served him for a career that has now spanned over 40 years. Recently, he has gone full circle in EMS and returned to Hawking as the EMS program direct manager. While in college, he began working for Southeast Ohio EMS, where he served in several capacities, including EMT, paramedic, dispatcher, and logistics officer. His experiences in grooming with SEO EMS put him in position to work for Grant Medical Center Life Flight program where he was part of the establishment of the first non-hospital-based helicopter operation in Wellston, Ohio. Life Flight later became MedFlight, and his career as a flight paramedic continued for a total of 29 years. During his time with MedFlight, he also served in the capacity of base director where he applied his leadership skills to those within MedFlight and those that they served. My father's love for EMS has always sparked his desire to give to others his knowledge and passion for the job. He has taught or delivered countless presentations to public safety professionals as an EMS instructor, mentor, and motivator. He has taught paramedic programs for over 30 years. The University of Rio, Rio Grande and now Hawking College inspiring the next EMA professionals. He is a self-professed EMS historian and an avid collector of EMS artifacts, which he often displays here at conferences. His commitment to learning has never ceased. He recently com completed his Bachelor of Science in EMS Administration and plans to obtain a graduate degree. True to his commitment as an EMS professional, my father has shown a deep resolve for public service. He served as a reserve police officer in Galpolis for 24 years, giving his time to keeping his community safe. He served 12 years as a member of Galpolis City Council School Board and currently serves on Buckeye Hills Vocational School Board. Most important is his dev devotion to his family. He has been such a positive influence on my brothers and me, one which led me to public service as a police officer. I am proud to be able to call him dad. I am pleased to recognize the recipient of this year's John P. Moore Memorial EMS Award for Excellence, Mr. Robert Cornwell. Bob, please join us on the stage. I'm very humbled by this uh, honor. Uh, I first want to say a couple of thank yous. Uh, one, obviously, to my family, my wife, Kim, my son, Jordan, and son, Miles. And um, I accept this award uh, not just because of my longevity in EMS. To get to over the 40-year plateau is quite an undertaking for anybody. but. Uh, Except this in the, the knowledge of having known John and the lessons that I learned from him. Uh, all that was said about him uh, is the lesson that we all can take away as EMS providers. Uh, he taught me one time that it's not always the right thing to do, or it's not always the important thing to do, it's the right thing to do that, that matters. And, uh, John was one of those people that showed compassion towards everybody that um, you encountered. And uh, with that, I, I graciously am thank, thankful for this award, and uh, especially in the honor of John. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. And again, congratulations.